He doesn't work here. What is he doing here? Oh! Matt Stryker coming out, laying big hands. Stryker! Holy Toledo. Matt Stryker in World One? I thought he was, you yeah. know. Exactly. This is a shocking development. What does this guy have to say? Striker! What does Striker have to say? You know, a lot's gone on in my life in the last six months, and I couldn't think of a better place than World One to bring everyone up to speed. So if you bear with me, I'm going to take you on a little storyline run. Back in December, I get an email from Steve Carino. He says to me, finally you're going to get your shot, kid. They want you over in Japan for 0-1. He said, I need you there on the 16th. I took four days off from my job as a New York City school teacher, jumped on a plane to pursue my dream of being a professional wrestler. To top it off, my first night there, I got to team with Steve Carino against Tanaka and Kasai. When I came back home to New York, United States, I was on top of the world. But when I went back to my job as a teacher, I heard little rumblings, little voices. People were starting to look at me a little different. But I didn't care. I mean, I just went to Japan. Who cares? And then February comes. Ironically enough, I get an opportunity right here in Philadelphia to wrestle Kurt Angle for the WWE. It couldn't be better. But when I went back to work as a social studies teacher in New York, the rumbling started again. A month later, my lawyer called me up and told me, Matt, you better resign because they're going to come and they're going to fire you and they're going to terminate your license and you'll never be allowed to teach again. So I resigned. Figured, hey, I've gotten this far. I can do anything by the grace of the Lord and Savior. Nothing can ever stand in my way and I believe in that. So everything is fine. I mean, I'm making a living. I'm wrestling in gyms and bars, and I'm happy because this is what I love to do. I love professional wrestling. And then the news comes out. After school closes, every newspaper, every television show, it's international news about the teacher who skipped class to wrestle. Every newspaper had a cute little headline, you know, Board of Education slams teacher wrestler nonsense BS. I'm getting emails from New York, Philadelphia, London, Tokyo. It's international. And then my phone rings one more time, and it's the WWE again. They said, we want to give you another shot. We want you to come down to the Meadowlands and display that passion that made you lose your job. Display it in the ring for us. I got down on my knees and I looked up again to the only thing that has kept me strong the last six months of my life. Tears poured down my face and all I could say was thank you. And that I promised to pay it forward and always give back to other people what was given to me. When they shook my hand and they said, kid, welcome aboard, you got yourself a job. Everything hit me at once. Everything hit me that this entire six month whirlwind ride all came to a head because of places like this and people like you. Now I'm not going to take up much more of your time. If you do deserve your hand, then go ahead and shoot out you. But there is one last thing that I've always wanted to do. Because you see, before Steve Carino sent me that email in December, I must have sat home for two and a half years and waited while everyone kissed his ass and played with his kid and hit on his sister. I decided to be myself. Oh, it's true. It's true.
And there's one last thing that I need to do before I go, because you know something? I don't work here, and they can't do anything about it. Steve, I know you're back there. These people came to see you. Come out so I can get my last few words with you. This isn't Matt Strike, this is Matthew K. Okay? Former ECW champion, former NWA champion, current reigning and defending AWA World Heavyweight Champion, Steve Carino. You know, when I first came to PWF, I met him in the Limerick Diner. He had a huge bruise in the side of his arm, and I said, what happened? He's a prick. He looks up at me, doesn't even care about me. Uh, Hashimoto, rest his soul. And he went back to eating. And here I am, some indie kid. He was eating. I like yeah, I can tell. Now we do. Here I am, some indie kid. But all I did was look up to you that day. You let me stay in your apartment. You let me eat your food. You let me play with your cats, sleep on your couch. While the SATs were kissing your ass, begging to go to Japan. I never once mentioned it to you. All we did was talk about baseball and old-time wrestling, because you were the only person that remembers Pez Wally from Shasta Wally. And I could have said Juan Samuel to you, and you would have laughed and said, Hey, Juan Samuel. <laughs> but I sat at home, and I checked my email every day. Nothing. You even sent me to go get a visa once. Led me to believe that I was going to go. But that visa came and went. I began to not like you very much, at all. And if I'm gonna do this tonight, I'm gonna do it right. Because there's one thing, stand there with your arms crossed, everyone thinks that pro wrestling has nothing real in it, but I'm going away. And there are a lot of things I want to say to you, and a lot of things I've wanted to do to you, but not in the way that some of these people are holding. God. <laughs> you can stare all you want, it's okay. Look, the truth is, is that you're the reason that this whole entire crap happened to me. You're the reason that I went to Japan, but you told me you gotta go now. Take some four days off of school, you gotta go now. I didn't want to miss my chance. You're the reason I went to Japan. You're the reason I got fired. But ultimately, you're the reason that I'm where I'm at right now, right here. It would make me extremely proud to put on a World One t-shirt. <laughs> and to look you in the eye in front of all these people. And you know what I'm going to say? I've looked up to you the whole entire time because you were always real with me. Thank you for everything. You've been called a lot of things in wrestling. But I'm going to call you my friend, and I mean it. Thank you so much for it. That's right. Matt, we're going to miss you. You came to me asking for bookings. I asked KT LeGrand. Who's Matt Stryker? Who's Matt? Just give him a chance. He gave him a chance and we booked you all the time. When everybody, when we had New Jack in and we did New Jack and Jack Victory in the Extreme Match, they said, well, wait a second, why is Hamrick and, and Stryker going? Because I have faith in Stryker. When we went to Japan, you did a great job. We, we got the team together for the first time. We had a great job. And for me, to watch you on SmackDown, watch you on Raw, watch you in the WWE, Man, it, it's like being up there myself because I got pride. I have a lot of pride. Now I know I'm taking up people's time and you guys want to see somebody get their head beat in, but one second. <laughs> Matt Stryker, no matter what anybody says, 
You are a man of your word. You, you didn't have to come tonight. You didn't have to come. We took you off the show because we knew you were going. You didn't want to tell anybody you were going to WWE, but we knew. I called Johnny Ace. I asked him. He said, yeah, we're signing this kid. This kid's going to be big. So when you watch Raw or SmackDown or wherever they put him, hopefully not Velocity, 